All right, my friends, would you like to play a game that you, well, you just can't lose? Sounds interesting, doesn't it? Okay, the reason why I said that is because I have every one of these cards, Mark. I've got three jokers and uh, a queen. Queen is the, is the only one that has a red back, so that's going to be pretty easy to follow. Okay, now it's the queen of spades. Like I said, very easy to follow. Uh, the jokers are identical. Okay, you want to avoid them at all costs. I'm going to make it very fair. I'm actually going to remove one of the jokers. Okay, toss it off to one side. You just work with two jokers and the queen. Now, my question to you guys is which card is lying right behind that joker there? Is it a joker or is it the queen? Okay, a lot of you might say the queen. Let's have a look and see. Well done, it is the queen. But you see, the thing about it is, okay, you know where the queen is now. But of course, my question, guys, is uh, where is the queen of spades? Because I have uh, three red back cards with queen written on them. So, there is a queen of spades. Which one would you pick? Maybe this one? Let's have a look and see. Nope, that's the queen of clubs. Maybe this one? Nope, that's the queen of hearts. Oh, so it must be this one here. Must be. Nope, that's the queen of diamonds. How could that be? Where is the queen of spades? And you see guys, this is why turned into a, a game that you just can't win because hiding behind this joker is actually the character you're trying to follow along in the spins. And that's no joke. 